Hey everyone, are you tired of staring at the same boring desktop wallpaper every day? Want something dynamic and exciting without spending a dime? Well, I've got just the thing for you. Today, I'm going to introduce you to one of the best free and open source alternatives to Wallpaper Engine, Sucrose Wallpaper Engine. Not only is it completely free and packed with tons of features and customization options, but here's the best part. You won't even need Steam to use it. It's lightweight, easy to set up, and offers a truly community-driven experience. Let's dive right in. The first step to transforming your desktop is downloading Sucrose Wallpaper Engine. Head to the GitHub link provided in the description below. This page contains everything you need, including the source code and plenty of details about the project. If you're into coding or want to contribute to the development, feel free to explore the technical side. Here's how to download it. Navigate to the Releases section on the GitHub page. You'll find all available versions listed here. Make sure to download the latest version compatible with your operating system. Windows, Linux, or Mac. Before installing Sucrose, ensure that you have the correct version of .NET Framework installed. The specific version you'll need depends on the Sucrose release you're using, and I've included a direct link in the description for easy access. Once the download is complete, locate the file in your downloads folder and open it to begin the installation process. Sucrose Wallpaper Engine is user-friendly and installs automatically there's no need to go through a complex setup wizard. When the installation is done, the app will launch automatically, and you'll be greeted by its clean and intuitive interface. Now that you've got Sucrose installed, it's time to explore its features. Upon opening the app, you'll notice a selection of default wallpapers. These are included to get you started right away. To apply a wallpaper, simply click on the one you like, and your desktop will update instantly. Alternatively, right-click on any wallpaper and select Use from the menu. The default wallpapers are just the beginning. Sucrose really shines with its store section, where you can browse and download a vast collection of wallpapers. Whether you're into abstract designs, calming nature scenes, or anime art, you're sure to find something that fits your style. Here's how to add wallpapers to your library. Navigate to the store section within the app. Browse through the available wallpapers and find one that catches your eye. Click on the cloud icon next to the wallpaper to download it. Once the download is complete, the wallpaper will appear in your library, ready for use. Now that you've downloaded some awesome wallpapers, let's take a closer look at the customization options. Sucrose offers plenty of settings to help you tweak the wallpapers to your liking. Playback settings. Go to the wallpaper section in the app. Here, you can adjust playback options, like animation speed and playback modes. The default settings are great for most users but feel free to experiment and find what works best for you. Performance settings. If you're using a lower spec PC or laptop, the performance settings are a game changer. You can set Sucrose to automatically pause or stop wallpaper animations when you're in full screen mode or using another app. This ensures the app won't hog your system resources when you're gaming, streaming, or working. And there you have it. You've learned how to download, install, and use Sucrose Wallpaper Engine, as well as how to customize your experience to suit your needs. Whether you're looking for a sleek, modern look, or something fun and dynamic, Sucrose has you covered. If this tutorial helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more tutorials like this. Have questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.